This is Genda Law, where I got my start as a lawyer. The owner, Genda Sensei, is like a father to me. He's been a well-respected figure in Kamrajo for years. Genda Sensei. Where is everyone? Oh, Saurakun and company are down at the courthouse. Those two are always putting in a hard day's work. It's good to see you. Ah, oh, I believe we met the other day. It was that con artist case. How'd it go? Did Yagami get that solved for you? He goes all in on his cases, but that's about his only redeeming quality. Yeah, he's really gone above and beyond. <laughs> Sorry to impose, Genda Sensei, but can Keiko san stay here a while? Fine by me. It was getting a little too quiet around here anyway. So, you want me to stay here until things calm down? You sure that's safe? Yeah. We'll be back before you know it. Speaking of which, it's rare to see the office this empty. You guys working a big case? Yeah. <laughs> big enough to keep Saurikun and Hoshino-kun out of trouble, I suppose. It's... Not a murder case, is it? No, no. It's an anti-nuisance ordinance violation. Huh? Oh, you mean... It's a groping case? She's a smart one. This happened two months back. Some good Samaritans at a train station pinned down a groper who was trying to make a getaway. Wouldn't you know it, the culprit was a cop, of all things. Makes you wonder what this world's coming to. Naturally, the press had a field day with it. It was all you saw on the news for a while. Oh yeah, I remember hearing about that. It was all over the internet. Anything that stops the trains during rush hour makes the news. It was all they talked about. Probably because he was a policeman. The judge is handing down the verdict today, and I don't expect he'll be pleased with it. Every answer he's given has been, I don't recall. Like, that'll do him any good. Stop that man! That man's a groper! Stop him! Stop him! I, I, I didn't do it! Let go! Hey, hey, let me go! Someone help! Get a station car! This man grabbed me on the train! He put his hand up my skirt! No! You're wrong! You got the wrong guy! Stop struggling, asshole! Let me go! The cops can check your hands to see if you did it or not. Be here in a second now, so just chill out! Hey! Are you filming this? Put that camera away! Sitting up straight in court, please. <laughs> A bad attitude isn't going to do you any favors. Does it even matter? It's over. The verdict has already been decided. Your demeanor still has consequences. The worse things are looking for you, the better an impression you need to make. Leave an impression. <laughs> well, if I were the judge, I'd be happy about having an easy day on the job for once. This is no time to be cynical, either. Besides, the judge hasn't... It's decided. Guilty as charged. <laughs> this also means it's almost time for the curtain to fall until the grand finale. What? And so, let's get this show on the road. All rise.
Well, like I said, we should have a verdict coming down today. We only really needed Sauri Kuhn at the bench, but Hoshino Kuhn insisted on joining her. Truth be told, I still can't tell when he's trying to help or when he's trying to impress her. <laughs> then he'll need to pull out all the stops. Sauri Kuhn's no slouch. Plus, she's got ice in her veins. Speaking of, how'd you end up on the hook for defending an active duty officer? Well, another firm had it on their plate first, actually. Comro PD, they have their go-to guys. The plan was to get a confession, earning the defendant a nice retirement package and a simple case dismissed. You mean, he'd be found innocent? Bottom line, yeah. On the condition he left the forest anyway. Correct. But the plan fell apart when the cop kept insisting he didn't do it, in spite of the evidence stacked against him. So, once Comoro PD's lawyers decided to throw in the towel, the case went straight to Sauri Kuhn, who just happened to take the call. Huh. Makes sense. I'm sure they'll be back soon if you wanted to stick around. I would, but I gotta tie up a few loose ends. But let us know if any new requests come in. Restless as always. You ever heard of a vacation, Yagami? <laughs> That's exactly why I turned my hobby into a job. Besides, I like staying busy. <laughs> Fine. You never did listen to your elders. Anyway, I shouldn't keep Kaito-san waiting. Thanks again for looking after Keiko-san. You just focus on whatever you gotta do. I'll make sure... Hey, ready to wreck shop talk? <laughs> Not gonna be any bottles of beer on the wall when we're done. Give me just a sec, actually. Huh? If you say so. Shop talk? <laughs> Not gonna be any bottles of beer on the wall when 
we're done. Let's get to work. That's what I'm talking about. Well, this the dump you brought Keiko-chan to? It is! So could you please just let me go? Not a chance. You get a front row seat for when your boss shows up. What are you, crazy? He'd murder me on the spot! Then he'd murder you two for dessert! Huh. He's that scary, huh? Yes, actually. Not to mention all his boys. All the more reason to put him in his place. Pricks like that need to learn how to treat a lady. Agreed. Oh, hold on. Sugiura. Really? Oh, could he choose a worse fucking time? Talk about a buzzkill. Hey there. You miss me? Jeez, it's been what? Half a year? Everything good over there? Good as it gets. Well, I've got some good news of my own I wanted to give you, man. Tsukumo-kun and I have our very own detective agency. Wait, are you saying you started a detective agency? Meaning, now you're a detective? Yep, got our own office and everything. It's in Yokohama. Didn't want to muscle in on your turf. Man, I don't know what to say. Oh, and by Tsukumo, you mean... The one and only. At least, the only one I know. Thought his hacking might give us an edge. Never figured he and I were on the same wavelength about stuff. You wanna wrap this up, Doc? Anyway, we got a pretty big case. And to be honest, we're in a little over our heads. So that got me thinking, why don't we call up the pros? So they can show us how it's done. Uh, do you need an answer right away? We're in the middle of the usual. Oh yeah? More sneaky shit? Yep, I'll tell you all about it later. Oh, come on. Give me just a hint. Sorry, buddy. Set? Huh. Then let's roll. Kosuke, care to explain what the fuck's going on? It's... Uh, not what you think. We're here on account of a woman named Keiko Hamada. She says she's been threatened by an illegitimate business. Oh, I see. You're the guy who had this dipshit's phone. Yagami Detective Agency, at your service. Yagami Detective? Yo, wait a sec. You the kid Matsugane-san took in? There! You see? <laughs> I told you people have heard of us. Huh. As for me, the name's Kaito. Used to wear the Matsugan <laughs> myself. Oh, I've heard plenty about you. You're a real celebrity, buddy. <laughs> a man's gotta have a reputation, right? Masaharu Kaito. Ugly as an ape and just as dumb. Let's an amateur thief get the drop on him and forks over the family safe? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're a real legend. Don't talk like you were there, jackass. You want an ape? I'm about to go ape shit here! Come on, man. Don't give him what he wants. Fuckhead. Now that we're past introductions, we're here to get Keiko-san's money. And we'll be tacking on our fee on top of that. Just business. I'm sure you understand. <laughs> Hear that, boys? The detectives come to collect. You know the best part of breaking ranks with the Tojo clan? The freedom. Huh? No more paying cuts to guys upstairs. Makes us even tougher. And guess what I spent the cash on? The walls. Now this is damn good soundproofing. Meaning whatever goes on inside, stays inside. You'll find out just how convenient that is. You hear that, Kaito-san? He says we're free to cut loose. Oh, yeah. Best news I've heard all day. I'm gonna open up a can of... 
Hey, uh, hold that thought a minute. Greetings, Yagamishi. Did Sugiyoroshi call you a second ago? He did, but look, Tsukumo, now's really not a good time. Oh, so you really are just busy? He said you hung up on him, so I wanted to make sure. He didn't offend you, did he? I'd hate to think he upset you, you know? But if so, we didn't mean it. On behalf of both of us, I offer my profuse apologies. Yep, no offense taken, man. But you see my point, right? Sugiura, she and I are a team. Our actions reflect on each other. Any responsible member of a company, I mean, any responsible member of society, it's, it's a matter of respect. Okay, I get the picture. We'll continue this later. Okay, but when is later? Should I call you back? If you have an estimate, I can set a timer. That way I'll know when it's convenient. Right, uh, where do we leave off? You gotta be shitting me! Yeah, pretty lame talk. That's it. You jokers are dead meat! Listen, I just wanted to thank the both of you for all you've done. Eh, well, I'm just glad to hear they got your money back. These two are something, huh? Oh, yes. I don't know how I could possibly repay them. Oh, don't worry about it. Besides, those thugs paid our service fee and then some. <laughs> nice of them to eat the cost, huh? Beg your pardon? Oh, uh, nothing. I take it all back. Anyway, what happened to the crooks? If they're smart, they're skipping town. Doubt they'd reopen after how bad we wrecked the place. As for Kosuke, I made sure to tip his college off about his little side business. Should help him rethink his life choices. So I'd say this case is closed. Well, I've sure learned my lesson. It's a scary world out there. Oh yeah? Mm-hmm. From now on, I choose the place when meeting boys online. And I should probably change dating apps while I'm at it. That's your big takeaway? Really, kicker chomp. You're laying this all on the app, not the sketchy internet dudes. Oh, I don't think so at all. Plenty of people these days meet their match online. It's true, Kaito-san. Apparently that's a thing now. You see, if you don't seize the opportunity when it knocks, it won't be just the times that leave you behind. Fine, fine. Hear you loud and clear. Saori san and Hoshino can sure are taking their sweet time. Now that you mention it, they should have left the courtroom a while ago. Maybe they stopped for a quickie somewhere. There's nothing between those two. Nothing real, anyway. These old eyes can tell that much. Wisdom comes with age, huh? Damn right it does. And I've got more than you kids on both counts. You talking about Matsugane-san? Yep. The lawyer and the Yakuza. Best of both worlds. Though we came from different backgrounds, we were brothers in arms. Both trying to make it in Kamuracho. You two ought to visit his grave every now and again. We will. That goes without saying. Well, I guess we should get going. I guess so. Thanks for having us on such short notice. 
Oh, and give the two lovebirds our regards. All rise. The court is prepared to issue its verdict. The sentence for the defendant, Akihiro Ihara, is six months of penal servitude. He's getting prison time for his first offense? Isn't it usually just probation in cases like this? Yes. I'm sure his attitude didn't help the situation. From the start, the evidence was stacked against him, and all he did was deny it. If that will be all, we can proceed with the court's rationale. The defendant may be seated. Hmm? You'd rather hear this standing up? Your Honor, in a warehouse, about three days ago, a body turned up in Yokohama. Oh, maybe you hadn't heard that. What? What the hell? What is he talking about? I don't know. <laughs> I'll take that as a no. In that case, make sure you pass this along to the Kanagawa police. They'll want to know that the body belongs to a guy named Hiro Mikoshiba. Four years ago, this man took my son from me by driving him to commit suicide. He deserved to die a thousand times, but he was never even accused of a crime. No, he just went on with his life. The law let him walk. An utterly broken system. Order in the court. The defendant shall refrain from making such outbursts. Defense? Do you have an explanation for the meaning of this? Uh, Your Honor, we, uh, well... Huh? Uh, how's that for an honest day's work? I just want to go put my feet up in the office. Sounds like a plan. I need to get back to Sugiura, too. He was telling us about a big job. You mean a big job for us? Yeah, down in Yokohama. By the way, Sugiura and Tsukumo? They're detectives now. Those two detectives? A <laughs> Good one, Tog. Yeah. Wait, you serious? This game's absolute bullshit. It's like it's designed to eat your money. Yeah, what a fucking scam. Fuck this. I'm beyond pissed. I need to unload on someone's face! <laughs> Hell yeah, dude! Why don't we go give some asshole a game over? You know I'm always down.
can't stay down. Let's roll. Really, guys? This is the Yagami Detective Agency. I run the place with the help of my partner, an ex-Yakuza named Kaito. I wish I could say keeping this place afloat was smooth sailing. But the reality is, we'd be drowning if it weren't for the gigs we get from Genda-sensei. It's not like we don't have the technology. But when street smarts fail, most of the time we have to get physical. That happens a lot.
Guess we can finally take a breather. Weren't you supposed to call Sugiura? I was, wasn't I? Crazy how he ended up in our line of work. After seeing us in action, who could blame him? Yagami-san, everything okay over there? Yeah, sorry, it's a long story. You were saying something about a big case? Oh, yeah. Listen, man, you gotta come check out Yokohama. We've been getting jobs left and right down here. And if we can ace this case I've got lined up, we'll be the hottest detectives in town. Oh, yeah? You sure it's a legit lead? Hey, have some faith. Would I waste your time on a bad lead? Just looking out for you, man. <laughs> well, I do appreciate that. Then, should I save the details for when I see you? Sure. When do you want us over? Honestly, ASAP. Tomorrow, if you can swing it. We're based in Ijincho. Look for an office that says Yokohama 99 out front. That's us. The real question is, you pre on such short notice? Uh, let me check my schedule. What schedule? Outside of today's shit, we haven't had work in weeks. If I tell them that, they'll lowball our cut, smart guy. Oh, right. <laughs> Guess we don't want to look desperate. Uh, sorry, Sugira. Yeah, tomorrow works just fine. Perfect. Man, this is gonna be so great! Oh, and Kaito-san's coming too, right? He'll be there. <laughs> See you guys soon, then. Sugiura said he'd give us the details when we get there. Huh. Way to build the suspense. Yokohama, though. Can't say I'm really familiar with that neck of the woods. Same here. But you know what? Kamurocho has been pretty tame lately. Maybe this is our chance to broaden our horizons. Yokohama 99's cross streets. Aww, it's not even close to Chinatown. So much for us getting a decent meal on this trip, huh? Well, then how about on the way home we take ourselves a little detour? Maybe. Sukumo's place is way out there. Wanna take a taxi? I suppose we could. But why don't we hoof it? Yeah, we could see the sights. I guess I'm on board with that. Come on! Ah! 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 Ah!
Really, guys? What is it? Yo, hold up a sec, Tom. Hmm? Nonsense over there. <laughs> That's not what I saw. So, would you call me? What the? Hey, what are you filming me for? Knock it off! Chill out, man. Why do you care? I don't see anything that says I can't record here. Enough! Stop! Just give me a reason. You have one? It's a free country, isn't it? <laughs> Whoa! Hey! What gives? You just kicked my sight over! Ah, that was the wind, man. A big old gust just came through, right? Yeah, crazy. Just now it whooshed right over. Uh, I told you! Put that down! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Kids don't seem to give any fucks about people these days. Agreed. So much for seeing the sights, huh? Well, you're thinking what I'm thinking, aren't you? <laughs> Do you have to ask? <laughs> so, anything else you want to accuse us of? I'd say you must be losing it, Pop. You goddamn brats! I got that one! He called us goddamn brats! You picking on high schoolers, man? Uh, no. I just don't want you loitering in front of my store! That's all I said, okay? So stop disturbing my customers! <laughs> that part's not gonna make the video. Wow, is that one of those new smartphone models? May I? What the hell? Damn, the camera on this thing is amazing, man. Your parents buy it for you? <laughs> Holy crap, he kicked Sakaki down! You must be saying things, kid. Anyway, your smartphone's kind of dirty, don't you think? <clears throat> Let me see. Hey! Give me my phone back! You want it back? I'll give it back, but only if you put this poor restaurant owner's sign back up first. Asshole! You think you can fuck with us? You're gonna kick your ass!
that all you got? Come on, bring it! <laughs> Guys are monsters. Yo, <laughs> was that Aikido just now? Oh, don't tell me you've been training at a secret dojo or something. Nah, uh, just more of my own thing, really. Figured I'd find a way to hold back for punks like them. Here, this came from one of those kids. Your call what to do with it. <sighs> You really didn't have to, but thank you. Those were students from Serio High. <sighs> You'd think private school kids would be better behaved, but they're just as immature. They look like a bunch of entitled brats. <laughs> They'd learned some manners the hard way in Kamrocho. Well, we've got our fair share of unsavory types. The Yakuza, not to mention those Yokohama Leomong gangsters. Those kids wouldn't dare to mess with them. So they're selective about their targets. Yes. They'll only harass you if they think they'll get away with it. Think they'll be back for more? I certainly hope not. Anyway, I sure am glad you stopped by. Come to think of it, you're the only ones who've ever intervened. I take it you're not from around here? Yeah. But we might end up staying. For a while, at least. Ever hear of a detective agency called Yokohama 99? We were on our way there right now. Hmm. I'm afraid that doesn't ring a bell. That's all right. If anything, we should get going. Sure. Oh, but before that, please take this with you. Consider it a token of my gratitude. Really, guys? Let's hit it. Irashimase.
ありがとうございましたShe hadn't. And stay down. <laughs> 